So you're a blade dancer. You like the Vault of Glass heck. Maybe you even like exploring. You've been to the jumping puzzle, you've puzzled over the jumps, sometimes uh, uh, a, little, a little too hard. But you can't stand your Titan and Warlock friends all floating around, jumping higher than you. You need something to impress them. Now you've seen that dead Vex portal across the way. Maybe if you just make it over there, you can... Wait. What about up there? Yes, despite what people will tell you, it is possible to reach that highest floating pillar, though right now only as a blade dancer. So how do you do it? Well, when you spawn at the jumping puzzle, take the left path. This will lead you over to where the secondary jumping puzzle spawns, over towards where that dead vex gate is. And there's a number of ways to go from here. After you jump on that rock right there, you can either jump straight up, and then over to this higher one right here. This will get you the most height, or from that last rock I was on, there's another little outcropping you can jump over to. So you can see the, uh, the floating pillar there off in the distance. So from here, we're going to do a class and gear check. For your class, you need to be a blade dancer and you need to be set up for maximum agility. If you don't know what I mean, just pick all the same orbs that I have right here. Now, the one that might confuse some people is that I have blink selected. A lot of people think, oh, you know, blink, you don't get much distance and stuff. Blink, unlike any other jump in Destiny, cools down while you're in midair. As long as I am in midair, I can continue to use blink every few seconds to get me that much more distance. With that knowledge, you are now ready. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you liked it. Now, this is a teaser of a uh, Let's Explore series that I'm going to start based on the Vault of Glass. A lot of people think we found everything in the vault, there's nothing left to find, people have searched everywhere. Uh, these people just have no idea. We're going to meticulously go through each section of the Vault of Glass, show every area that you can reach, places we currently can't, theories people have, etc. It'll be a, uh, a series of theory-based exploring, a discussion of the mythology and lore behind the vault, but uh, hopefully we'll also act as a celebration of the beautiful game design that went into this raid. So stay tuned for that and more Destiny-related content. Thanks, I'm out.